Hello there, Aquarius. Welcome to your tarot reading. So, um, first of all, let me just uh, give you a few information that I, I it, it was coming through strongly when I was shuffling. And um, I just want to remind you, first of all, I feel like your ruling planet, Uranus, it's um, in retrograde right now. It has been retrograde, and I mentioned that last month's reading. And um, everything that you're doing right now during this Mercury retrograde, but also the Uranus retrograde period, requires a lot more effort from your end in order to push things forward. So it's going to feel just a little bit frustrating because a lot of the, the, the things that are happening requires, you know, a concerted effort for you to push things to move the way that you want it to move. So it's not going to be, you know, just like uh, you can't really take it for granted. You can't really kick up your feet and and assume that the situation is going to move along. I feel like it just requires a lot more effort, a lot more momentum from your end. So from now until the December time frame, it's really important to get things going. OK, and uh, I also feel as well, there is this tremendous need for many of you. You might have fallen off when it comes to, you know, like some type of a dietary habit, some type of an exercise regimen. Get yourself back on it, okay? Get yourself motivated in order to do that. Uh, start it out in the morning so that you can start to see tremendous changes, tremendous results, and just, you know, overall health improvements and just strengthening your body. So I feel like there are a lot of um, good changes, positive um, improvements that can happen for you. It just requires that you take that extra step in order to get your life and reorient yourself and to achieve the things that you want. So that's the first thing. The other thing that I'm feeling, and these are, you know, the four messages that came through. First of all, um, um, if you guys can try to secure your property. So wherever you are living right now, make sure your items or, you know, important items in particular, are safely locked up, safely secure, do not leave purses in cars, do not leave, you know, windows open. Um, I just feel like it's necessary mainly because I, I'm seeing, you know, I don't like to relay negative information, but I feel like it might be helpful for this month to be extra vigilant about your stuff, especially stuff that you store in your home. Leave valuables in a safe place, in a hidden place even. Um, leave money in the bank, whatever money you're stashing up, because I feel like there might be theft, okay? There might be, yeah, so this is shown up in the home situation. So there might be theft, there might be things happening in your environment that is not favorable. You don't want to deal with the hassle. And, and you know, a lot of the times when things go missing, the worst part of it is we don't know who did it and we don't know who to trust. So I, I just want you to keep that in mind. This deals with physical uh, belongings. Okay. So just uh, be careful about that. Take these preventative measures um, just to avoid the, ha uh, the hassle. And I'm also feeling as if for many of you, it just feels to me like financially, things are going to be really good this month. Things are just like going to be flowing. They're going to be abundant. I feel for many of you, your social circle is really, really um, kind of like, I, I see this, you know, stretch, like expanding. So I feel like it's an expansion when it comes to people that you meet. Some new people in your new work environment I feel they're going to be lifelong friends. So you're making um, like establishing lifelong friendships on the professional front with people that you might be working with, which is not always a bad thing, because if you're in the same industry, you know, you're going to run into each other sooner or later. And so it's good to make a, a good impression. But I, I also feel like you're going to be forging alliances and you're going to be making lifelong friendships with them. The third message that I have here, and uh, I feel like it's corroborated here with this Ace of Cups that fell out, relationships are really looking, looking great for many of you. I feel if you have recently started dating, you know, like, let me try this online thing. Let me go to the local dive, to the local bar and meet new people. If you tried it in the month of August and you, you, you've been kind of dealt a bunch of duds, um, it's important not to give up. 
because you know the mercury retrograde period last month might have really interfered with your uh, dating prospects you might have you know talked to a few people but things never materialized they're saying not to give up continue i feel like it's going to be very good it's going to be very crucial um, to not give up on that energy, okay? It's, it's going to require, once again, that extra push, that extra incentive from your your end to get things to move the way that you want. I know last month was really frustrating for many of you. Um, I started to feel that energy around the third of the month, August 3rd, when the ruling planet went into retrograde. And then on the 12th, when Mercury went into retrograde, and so we had a bunch of, and also with the solar eclipse, where many of you have really started to re-examine your relationships, have to started to really, um, you know, try to, I guess, like introspect to see what you are exactly looking for in a relationship partner, what qualities you do not want to be dealing with in a relationship partner and whether or not the relationship partner was right for you. So I feel a lot of you doing, you know, going through this mental, um, like, re-examination, process of elimination even. And so that's good. You know, things have to be shaken up once in a while. Otherwise, we become complacent. Otherwise, you know, the energy stagnates and we don't get new things. And I feel for many of you, it's because you're making decisions to move things along. Um... The last message that I have here is um, they mentioned charity and uh, what I'm feeling is this. So just think of this time period as. Um, so the, the best way that I can describe this Uranus retrograde energy, and this is based on personal experience, OK? A lot of the times we know what we're supposed to do, but we out of fear out of fear for the unknown, out of fear of being displaced from what we do know or the status quo where we are right now. So we know that it's not exactly, you know, the best that it can be because for you guys, you're very specific about what you want and what you don't want. And when we're dealing with the gray areas in between what you want and what you don't want, if things are going okay, then you will stick with it. You will ride it out. You will, you know, change it. You will try to fix it so that things get better. But in certain situations, you always think about, no, I actually want more. I want the best. And I feel like a big part of you is wanting more out of life, wanting more out of your social interactions, wanting more out of your relationships. And you feel this element here about not being 100% emotionally fulfilled. So I feel that element coming through. And during this retrograde period, when your ruling plan is no longer in the picture, it's basically telling you what are you willing to work for, the things that you want and the things that you don't want. And you're going to start to realize the things that you don't really want, there's extra effort, extra attention, extra push in order to get it going. And you're going to feel frustrated. You're going to feel tired about having to move things along all the time. You're going to feel a little bit burdened and you're going to feel a little bit restricted. Whereas the things that you do want, I feel like that gateway, that portal just opens for you where things are so much easier. Things just move really, really, you know, smoothly. And so I want you to keep that in mind because that is an indication for you to, you know, acknowledge the fact that these are the things that are actually really good for me because they move really swiftly. They move really fast. They move really smoothly and it doesn't require that much work on your end. So that's the universe kind of reorienting you towards the things that are actually very good for you. So just something to think about because I feel like once again, a lot of blessings are coming through and we have to let go of, you know, things from the past so that we can enjoy fruit, fruitful, prosperous things from the future. And I do feel for many of you, this is a major financial move or a major, major relationship move, okay? Uh, especially a relationship where you do not love a person anymore, but you might have financial entanglements with them. So that's what I'm sensing. Um, 
Let me see if there's anything else coming through and I'm going to get the last two remaining cards. Um, so another thing that I feel coming into the picture, family members, family members, siblings, whoever, you know, that you consider family members. Okay. And we're, I, I usually think of it as like blood relatives, but even, you know, uh, co-parenting blended families that can also count. So family members, there's going to be frustration dealing with family members. And I feel like a lot of it is, um, it's, it's almost like boundary issues. It's almost like they expect you to do certain things, but they were never clear about their expectations of you. And so it could cause a little bit of strife in that, you know, family relationship. So it's almost like somebody, you know, um, they're, they're telling you all of these things, but they leave out, you know, important details. And I feel like when it comes to communication, be very careful and be very clear what somebody's telling you repeat after what they say and you tell them is that all that you want from me or are there other things hold them accountable for the way that they communicate and i also feel miss uh miss like miscommunication can happen for this month and especially with family members, be very, very clear that they understand your instructions or you understand their instructions and be very clear that they are communicating in a way that it allows you to, you know, fully understand what they are expecting from you. And if they, you feel like they're expecting a little bit too much, then you tell them that's not really appropriate because you're putting too much burden or pressure on me. So drawing very clear boundaries is going to be very crucial for you for this month. Okay. Okay. So let me go into the reading for this month. Um, well, obviously the first card that came out here, we have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Cups indicates usually a new love, a new relationship, something blossoming something really really thriving and I feel like this is a relationship that you have been waiting for for quite some time so the hangman uh, underneath the ace of cups this is a situation where you know we're in an uncomfortable situation either single and feeling a little bit isolated a bit um a bit like jaded I feel when it comes to dating feeling as if you know you're you're constantly frustrated you're uh, being dealt kind of like the short end of the stick when it comes to your romantic life. And so with the hangman in the reverse for this month, I feel like for those of you who have been waiting for that type of a breakthrough love relationship partner, and especially a partner that doesn't leave you hanging, that doesn't leave you waiting, that doesn't leave you um, feeling like you, you're not sure about their intentions, you're not sure about their motives, you're not sure about... Um, what they want from you. I feel like many of you, you have a new relationship partner here with the Ace of Cups. And this is somebody that might have come in in the previous months. But the bottom line is, I feel like you're going to be in an emotional situation, especially with a love relationship partner, where you're going to feel very nurtured, cared for, fulfilled, and treated in a very appreciated type of way. So you have a partner that is very clear about what they want from you. They're very concise when it comes to their expectations. And they're very, you know, like, I, I almost feel like they're just, they don't leave you in the dark about where the relationship is headed. Okay. So we have some really good things coming into the picture. Um, the second thing that really stands out to me here. We have the Five of Pentacles and the Magician. So first of all, we're going from a Ten of Pentacles. This is, you know, total financial abundance. Um, having a lot of accumulated wealth over the years. Having even a relationship where a house was uh, shared between, like property is shared between people, children. This is basically the full home okay house children pets kids whatever the situation might be generational wealth even people living in the same house and we have it from going from a 10 reducing to a five basically what this means is dividing up assets between people dividing splitting things right down the middle 
splitting down the cost of um, securing a place, splitting down the cost of like, if you are sharing space with another person, they might tell you, oh, you know, I need you to help me with half of the payment. I need you to help me with half of the groceries. I need you to help out. So I feel like there are going to be a lot of financial discussions. Both of these cards are showing up in a way where I feel like there will be some, there might be some disagreements. And I feel overall that you are dealing with somebody or you are doing some type of financial negotiation with somebody to be very clear about the terms of, you know, what do each parties expect from each other? And the person that you are having a discussion with, it shows up here as the magician in the reverse. This is somebody who is a little bit elusive and evasive when it comes to how much money they have, how much money they're making, how much money is coming in. And this is also somebody that shows you one thing, but they really mean another. And when it shows up in the reverse position, it usually indicates some type of some per, uh, a person that might have some type of manipulative qualities. They might distort the truth. They might be very like, um, I am also seeing, and this is not something I'm seeing with this card, but like they're saying like passive aggressive, you know, they, they might say, oh, whatever you want. But honestly, when people say that, they always have a preference. But for whatever reason, this person is not telling you the whole story. You might be dealing, you might be like signing legal paperwork, legal contracts as it relates to money. For those of you who are starting, you know, new jobs, for those of you who are um, getting like a promotion or especially consulting a legal counsel, if you have, you know, assets that you need to pass down or you have assets that are inherited or you even share assets with another person, there's going to be a legal counselor coming into the picture and there are going to be discussions about financial dealings that in the past might have been very, um, I want to say like pieces of the puzzles are missing in this financial arrangement and things are going to be made right. Things are going to be balanced out and the money is going to the people that deserves it. Okay. So I feel overall with this five of pentacles, it doesn't denote, especially like it doesn't denote any type of financial hardships, but I'm sensing that it does denote along with this 10 of pentacles, financial assets, like uh, paying half of your bills or dividing up your assets with another person. So overall, it seems to me like things are being squared away. Things are being fair, or at least things are going to become that way for you guys for this month of September. So financially, the 10 of pentacles is having a lot of financial abundance. Okay. So this is like wealth and things that you have accumulated. You spend a lot of time building them up over time. And so my advice here is for some of you, I feel like if you have spent a lot of time building it up, don't squander it. Okay. Don't squander it. Uh, don't, don't spend it recklessly. Be very strategic and make your money build for you. And especially don't count on this money, this pot always, always, always being there. Make smarter spending choices, make smarter investment and don't you know be just be strategic about where it's going how much is coming in how much is leaving your hands because i feel like you might be a little bit reckless with money going back to that message i mentioned earlier about you know securing your property making sure if you have like cash lying around i don't know if people do anymore but you know whatever situation that you're in it you might for whatever reason you might have that um secure it secure it okay secure it so that it doesn't get lost it doesn't get stolen because i do feel theft especially in the family um situation if you're sharing space with a lot of people if a lot of people are coming and going in your housing environment because this can also denote a very crowded house this can also denote to you feeling like very upset but not knowing who to direct your energy at so this is a card about, you know, anger and frustration being charging ahead, trying to find out the truth. But in the reverse position, it's almost like you don't have the information. You don't know who's at fault. You don't have all the knowledge. And so you might resort to, you know, fouling up for a police report. You might have to take things to the next level. And so avoid this hassle 
keep money in a safe place and keep your your you know expensive jewelry whatever it is keep it in a safe place you know cell phones electronics whatever it is that is really valuable to you i i feel like it would be better for you to try to keep things safe okay keep things locked up keep things um squared away okay just try to do it for the month of september because i don't want you to be dealing with this energy it showed up twice already so i i don't want you to have to deal with that okay it's a it's a big hassle having to you know get the law involved okay it's a big hassle um the other card that really stood out to me here we have here the devil and the devil is shown up in the reverse position. This is basically breaking old, away like old chains, breaking away from self-limiting thoughts, breaking away from unhealthy habits, unhealthy people. And especially, I honestly feel like for many of you, this is kind of like breaking away from situations where you feel like, I feel like you're going to be, you, you have been frustrated with people who are very like either really passive aggressive, who are not really clear and, and um, assertive about stating very clearly what they want. Because I feel like many of you are quite impatient when it comes to people's communication styles. You want people to be forthright and you want people to be very direct when they talk. It frustrates you when someone like uh, meanders, when their, their, their mental processes is not on point. And they also, you know, they go, go off on tangents when they tell a story or when they communicate or when they're really long winded. I feel like many of you are, are very frustrated. And this month, I feel like you're going to be letting go of some old habits as it relates to the way that you communicate with people i feel that you're going to be a lot more patient so in the past if you have been kind of like if your mind kind of drifts when someone tells a really long-winded story this is the month where you are going to be a lot more mentally present you're going to be a lot more sympathetic you're going to be dealing with people in whatever capacity it could be work related you're going to be dealing with people who might not have the intelligence they might not have the vocabulary they might not have the language skills or even you know they might not be innately articulate and um they might be stuck in an environment where they can't really express themselves well they might be inundated with a lot of fear and so i feel like you're heavily dealing with a lot of other people that might have these communication problems and so I feel for many of you in the past, whereas, you know, you might have just like, ah, oh, I don't want to deal with this. I'm, it's frustrating me or it's boring. It's taking too long to get to the point. I'm just going to look elsewhere. I'm just going to, you know, do something else. This is the month where I feel some of you are lightening up. You're actively listening. You're trying to get the other person's point of view. You're trying to put yourself in their shoes. You're trying to be a lot more understanding and you're trying to be a lot more, uh, I, I want to say le less judgmental to Aquarius because I feel like you can be very judgmental at times. I feel like judgment is out the window because you're all ears. So it could be, you know, work that you're doing that requires this type of approach. But I feel for many of you, this is a relationship partner as well that you are softening up and opening up to. And you might take this approach mainly because you understand that as one human being to another, it's really important to give the other person, you know, the, the benefit of the doubt or to give the other person that courtesy, even though they can be, you know, really long winded, even though they can be like their, their thoughts meander. I feel like you're going to be a lot more patient this month. You're not going to jump the gun. You're going to be a lot more diplomatic, a lot more patient when dealing with other people. Okay. And I feel like that is something that's really good for you. I feel like for the beginning of this month, uh, this year, 2017, you have really struggled with that concept, Aquarius. And I, I, I'm sensing that the Uranus retrograde is really forcing you to slow down and it's forcing you to confront situations that you have been very impatient in dealing with in the past. It has also made you, especially for the month of September, it's going to make you 
confront situations where in the past you might have just ran away from it. You might have been like, I'm, I, I don't have the time. But coming in for this month, you're going to find the time. You're going to be emotionally and mentally present in order to deal with it. And I feel like the timing's perfect, actually. Okay? Timing's perfect. You're not really going anywhere. This month doesn't feel to me to be very hectic. So I don't feel like, you know, that you're you're going to be impatient and, and drifting off into other things. I feel like you're going to try to be very grounded and be present for other people that might need you. Okay? Um, let me see if there's anything else coming through. There was something that when I picked up this card, it just feels to me like they they mention here new alliances, new new people, like new um, new friendships being formed. For many of you, this could be a fire sign here. This is a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo that I feel is coming into your work environment or it, you're going to meet in the work environment. So they might already be around or they might, you know, be coming into the picture for the month of September. So a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. This is somebody that um, I, I feel like repentant. I feel like repentant. They might not, not have had, you know, like a clean slate when it comes to their past. They might have done some things that they were not proud of, okay? Because in the past, we have here the magician, the reverse, which is distorting the truth, not being very honest. And I also feel as well, you know, they're, they're making a major, major change in their life. If you have children with this person, they're trying to make their life better. They, they know that, you know, they've made a lot of mistakes in the past. They're trying to make amends. So if you can make amends, if you can reconcile, allow them to do that. Allow that opportunity for yourself forgive and forget and then move on okay and then for those of you who are dealing with this person and you're just like i'm not really sure i feel like you're looking like you're you're putting them under a microscope and you're just like okay let me let me see where you have been let me see about your conduct in the past let me see whether or not i trust you right now as we speak so you're going to be dealing heavily here with a fire sign and i feel like you're really examining whether or not you can trust them, whether or not you can let them back in, whether or not the two of you can, you know, move past this, okay? So let me look into your relationship sector and see what's going on for you guys. So Aquarius, love, romance, and relationships. For the month of September 2017, please. Aquarius, love, romance, and relationships. September 2017. We've got a lot of single Aquarius here coming into the month of September. Okay, sorry about that. I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to pull out another card for you here. And here. Okay, so a big earth sign coming through. Earth sign energy. So let me just talk about the past, okay? Because I feel like a lot of um, recent end to relationships have happened for you in your recent past the recent past goes back to like six months okay 
Um, and depending on whether or not you're born, you know, in early degree Aquarius or late degree Aquarius, the energy could have happened for you earlier or later. So going back towards like six months. First of all, what we have here is the Five of Wands as well as the Devil. The Five of Wands is a relationship where there is a lot of conflict, a lot of trust issues, a lot of disagreements. And I also feel as if there has been a lot of like, um, I want to say like uh, inner struggle and power struggle between you and a relationship partner. Um, this card, I usually look at it as, you know, two people who are basically two different species you can't really agree on the simple things you can't really see eye to eye and philosophically you're so different from each other that every argument inevitably leads to every discussion inevitably leads to an argument because you just don't agree on the fundamentals um, of like life it's linked up here with the devil and the devil is in the reverse position so the devil basically indicates you know patterns behaviors habits that we get into that have not been good for us and i also feel for many of you you're breaking this pattern because you have dated people in your past where there's a lot of chemistry there's a lot of attraction because you know opposites attract right but at the same time on the foundational level you and the other person that you're dating, you don't really have the same, the same goals. You don't really have the same plans for the future. And so while the relationship is very exciting, it's also very dynamic. It just doesn't have a common consensus and there isn't a common narrative between you and the relationship partner. Um, with the devil card, basically I feel like many of you are breaking these patterns are realizing the relationship habits that you have either picking fights to make things interesting or you know like that mirroring effect where if your relationship partner does something that makes you jealous you go and do something that make them jealous because i feel like this is a mirroring back and forth bickering and it's very senseless and i feel like a lot of you have been um caught up in these relationships in the past and it was not good for you you have come to realize that you are essentially you know um allowing and inviting this energy into the relationship and you were also with a relationship partner where there was like zero compatibility to begin with and as a result of it the relationship has seen many many ups and downs there were a lot of you know breaking up getting back together breaking up getting back together it's a vicious cycle and so you have broken this which is really good Aquarius um, moving forward into the present what we have here is the magician and the magician I usually think of this card as the Aquarian male um, because Aquarian male are quite charismatic they're 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 super intelligent but this can also represent a uh, Aquarian people in general where you are kind of like the life of the party you you know how to make really good first impressions and uh, you have a lot of like interesting anecdotes you throw out stories you throw out these little anecdotes and people really really like you people really like to be around you and you know they they gravitate towards you so this is a really good energy to have many of you are returning to the dating scene you know whining and dining other people or being wine and dine going out having a really good time you know a cocktail in your hand and just being the life of the party so i feel overall for singles um make yourself available for dating you know even if you've had like a few failed relationships or failed attempts at dating don't give up on it because your energy is really dazzling for this month and I feel like you need to be seen and heard and you're going to be in an environment where you start to really attract new people and I also feel we have the star coming through in the future especially for single Aquarius people because this is your card here this is kind of like inspiration being divinely guided and you know just being in the right place at the right time to get your heart's desire so I feel if you are single we have here 
the page of coins, which is, you know, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have here the Knight of Coins, a, a very strong earth sign energy that is going to be in the picture. For those of you who are single, looking for people, wanting to, you know, expand outwards, okay? Um, for others of you, you are dealing with this person, the magician. And thank God he's in the upright position because this is a really, he or she can be very seductive. This is somebody who is, you know, they, they dress really well. They're very well groomed. So they're never caught wearing ripped jeans or, you know, shorts. They're, they're a little bit on the high maintenance side. So many of you are dealing with this person. Very intelligent, has many interesting stories in his or her pa past. So they can tell you, you know, the most bizarre, the most like um, unique story. But I feel like they're honest. I, I don't feel like they're deceitful or anything like that. I feel that they are honest. And even like the most uh, outlandish stories has has truth to it so you're with somebody that is dressed really well that is very well groomed very popular people like them and uh, I also feel for many of you um, I feel like there is a sense of intimidation you don't get intimidated easily Aquarius but when you like somebody I feel like most of the time Aquarius people are a little bit cocky and there's nothing wrong with that because it just means you know you're confident right I feel like you're very confident when it comes to, you know, going to a very uh, a party and dealing with very platonic friends. But as soon as you like somebody, you kind of freeze up. And that's the only time where you start to question, am I good enough for this person? Is this person going to like me? They have so much un life experience under their belt. They have like, you know, such an interesting life that do will they find me interesting? So I feel like you are feeling a little bit out of your element you're feeling a little bit like it's almost like scared of falling in love with this person so we have excuse me it's hard to pick these up we have here so the magician and the chariot in the reverse the chariot is two people who are very similar or who are could be different but they're moving the relationship to the in the right direction when it's in the reverse position it indicates to me Despite the lack of compatibility, I feel like this person, the their energy is like the embodiment of all the elements. So I feel like this person is very versatile and they can be with any relationship partner they choose, mainly because they they kind of shift with their relationship partner. They're they have a lot to offer as well. So it's kind of like they're they're the master of all the elements. So I feel like if you are intimidated. I, I'm sensing this person is really smart, whoever it is that you've got your eyes on. They're very intelligent and you're not really sure. You're not really sure if you make the cut. You're not really sure if you're good enough. I'm sensing some of you are dealing with a little bit of self-doubt here as to your worthiness, your lovability, because you're with somebody that, or you like somebody that you feel is a great catch, okay? Um, in the foundation is something that you know to be true. What we have here is the ten of cups in the reverse this is a situation where i feel like it led to it, it could have led to marriage it could have led to like engagement but for some reason it fell apart so you were dealing with something like this and now that you're newly single or you're dating again i feel like a lot of you have fears that you still haven't gotten letting uh, that you have not uh, let go of from the past that you haven't released from the past fears of entering giving your heart away entering into this you know wedded union this engagement with another person and then having it kind of fall apart so i'm, I'm sensing we have some emotional hang-ups here that is not completely done and then we also have as well the hangman in the uh, upright position this time so for some of you this situation might pertain to uh, <clears throat> an earth sign. So if you are dealing with a, with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, I feel like, I feel like, you know, so, so first of all, this earth sign is very, very slow moving, but when he or she shows up in the reverse position, it basically means that they're really interested in you. They're gunning for you. They're trying to make, you know, 
um, they're trying to make a move towards you. But I don't know if you're feeling 100% into it anymore. You're just doubting the viability of a relationship. You're doubting whether or not it's going to be feasible in the long run. And you're doubting whether or not it's going to give you, you know, that emotional wedded bliss that you've been longing for for quite some time. So we have here the earth sign that you're still on the fence about. There might have been some recent falling out. There might have been some recent geographical, physical um, separation from one another. You're waiting for them to kind of like get their act together and make more of a move towards you to be a lot more directed about what they want out of you. Crowning this reading is something that you are thinking about. And we have here the Eight of Swords, which is no longer keeping yourself stuck, making some positive strides in your own life, um, kind of like being the catalyst of change in your own life, not putting your life on hold, not, you know, putting your life on hold, waiting for other people to come back, waiting for news communication from other people. And it's linked up as well with the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is a card about being high in demand. And especially, it's, it's almost like, fighting off all opposition because you know what your heart wants. So I feel like for some of you, if your friends, your family have told you, you should do this, you should do that, you should get married, you should, you know, date such and such. I feel like you're just going to put a kibosh on it. You're just going to be like, you know, whatever you're telling me is not really appropriate for my situation. I know what's best for me because ultimately you do know what's best for you. And I feel like the more people push you, the more you try to do exactly the opposite. So I feel like at around this time, you know, your friends and your family members know you well enough to know that the more they advise you, the more you will try to like, you know, not do what they want. And you will most likely try to do the opposite just to shock them. So they're, they know that their advice, their counsel is falling on deaf ears. And I feel like that's just what we're getting here. And um, moving into the future position, we have the star. The star is wish fulfillment, getting something that your heart desires, the eight of wands and the page of coins. So if you're dealing with that magician person and, you know, um, you're wondering whether or not they like you, I feel like there's going to be a lot of communication. There's going to be a lot of communication back and forth. So I feel like the answer here is yes. They do like you. There's going to be a lot of communication, long distance, or even, you know, communication over through like electronic means. And I feel like it can lead to actually dating, like a date forming, a date being offered, or a date coming into the picture. It's going to be a little bit slow. And that's fine. It's still Mercury in retrograde, so you want to slow it down, which is great. And for others of you, singles, you need to get out there for this month. You have some really great placements, okay? But I feel like for others of you, if you're dealing with an earth sign, there's still a lot of trepidation from your end. Where is this going? Should we, you know, slow things down or... Uh, quicken the pace. So I, I do feel like you're getting a little bit frustrated because somebody's not being very clear about where they stand with you. And I have a very strong earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And so I feel like for those in stable relationships right now, there's going to be a lot of love and affection here with this card. This is basically a lot of communication um, being extended, but also heartfelt communication where the other person really tells you how they feel about you. They can tell you like, you know, how much they appreciate you. So there's a lot of great gestures and good romantic energy coming through, heartfelt communication. You're breaking old patterns. So I feel like it's almost like Aquarius. I feel some of you walking around this entire year kind of like in a fog when it comes to relationship because relationships have been very problematic, right? So all of 2017, I feel like there was, a, there were a lot of what ifs. And then, you know, it's like you're walking around, there's fog in front of you. You can't see 10 feet in front of you. You can't see 10 feet behind. So there were a lot of just uncertainty. And I feel like this is the month where the fog actually lifts and you know what direction you're supposed to be headed. Okay, so 
things are happening really, really fast. Things are really escalating. So I would suggest that you slow things down a little bit, especially if you're dealing with um, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I have the magician here is linked up with the chariot. That can be a cancer person, like a cancerian, if you're dealing with them. But I see very strong earth sign energies, okay? Um, that is all that I have for you guys. I hope the reading has been helpful. I do wish you all the best singles. Make the most of this month and get out there and date, okay? Especially after the 15th, after the end of that Mercury retrograde shadow period. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon in the mid-month reading. I hope everything goes um, well for you guys. I will talk to you guys soon. Take care of yourself. I wish you the best. Bye-bye.